Take a square sheet of paper and fold it in half diagonally. Next, fold the tip down to this point. Make the same fold with the other side. Turn the sheet so that the openings are facing downward. Then, fold this part on the center line. Make sure to crease it well since the paper is very thick. Do the same on the other side. Open and use the crease to fold the tip down. This part must be parallel to this one. Do the same on the other side. Reopen both sides. Reopen the fold you made earlier and fold the point like this. It should look like this when you're finished. Make the same fold on the other side. The next fold is a bit more complicated. Watch closely. Fold this point inward and then back like this. Then, bend this part back. You can't bend it all the way, but it should join the fold here. Now, fold in the other direction with this point, which should be just below the center line. This line should be almost parallel to it. Fold the other point the same way. Take the center here. Lift and fold. Make the fold in the center from the top. Fold to this point. Then, fold in the opposite direction over the other leg. Fold the top edge inward onto the center line. Fold the rest of the edge over top of the small point. Then, fold this point to this level.
Now, fold the other tip down to this point. Fold the origami in half. It should look like this. Now, fold this part inward. This is the head. And this is the bottom. The point should touch the bottom of the inside like this. Do the same on the other side. Make small folds inward. Now, fold these points inward like this. It's important to still have a peak at this level. Fold the legs down alongside this part. To finish your origami, lift the end slightly back like this. 